getting ready to cut down this big cedar tree. If only you could smell this because it smells so good. Meanwhile, the boys are doing what they always do. Exploring the woods. You gotta cut, how long is this section? Whoa! Can you grab my salt, please? Yeah. How long is this section, babe? 12 feet. 12 feet. Uh-oh. He'll have to fix his saw. Sometimes when he cuts these daggone logs, it pinches his chainsaw, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do is pretty much what we always do. We'll pull out the first biggest log, which is 12 feet. And then we'll pull out the other part with all the limbs. We'll take it up where the barn is. Then we'll just delimit. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's what we say. So we'll just cut all the limbs off of that part over at the barn. Got the log on the mill and ready to go. There's the second one over there. Let's see how much lumber we get off of one decent size cedar tree. All right, here's all the lumber. We cut them into one inch pieces. Some of them you can see are perfect squares. Other ones have a little bit of live edge, but we'll be able to use them for various projects, including raised beds. And there's still a couple more left on here too. So we got a decent amount of lumber out of that one cedar log, and we still have the other one that we're gonna saw up later on today. So over here on this trailer that we remodeled last year, this is where we put our lumber just temporarily while it waits for its use. It never sits here for more than just a couple of weeks. But anyway, this is everything. This stack right here, this will be for the barn because it's got kind of some rough edges on it. This will be for the side of the barn that we have not finished yet. And this pile here is what's perfect and what we're gonna use to build raised beds or even possibly sell. So these are eight inches in width. They're an inch thick and then they're 12 foot long. So two boards makes a perfect bed because if you cut four feet off the end, that makes two eight foot boards and two four foot boards to make a perfect rectangle for a raised bed. So, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And those two, that's great. Now he's putting this second log on and we're gonna saw it up.
here's the lumber we just added to the pile. The smaller cedar board yielded six of these. They're about six, six and a half inches wide. They're an inch thick and of course 12 feet long. So we can make one, two, three raised beds out of this and three out of this. That's a total of six raised beds out of one cedar tree. Not bad, especially considering it wasn't a huge cedar tree.